Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. We have NCAA Football 2003 again here on the PlayStation 2. Have the ongoing season with Notre Dame. And here we are to battle for the Ireland Trophy in South Bend, Indiana. The Irish National Championship. Blew a chance at improving my rank. Lost to Florida State in the last game. They were ranked 9. I was ranked 24. So this is another big game for me. Boston College is ranked number 24. Maybe I could get back into the top 25. We'll see how it goes. This is a national broadcast. That's what that satellite logo symbolizes. And let's get to the game. Haven't really watched any college football besides for the first Notre Dame game this season. Just a little bit, uh, a little bit too much talk about COVID and compliance for me. So I will continue playing this season and enjoying it. So this is uh, a little bit earlier of a broadcast than normal we'll see who comes in the chat maybe we'll get some different uh different people in here than who's usually in in the late night crew but the last game i just i ran with the quarterback too much fumbled i think the last two games i fumbled with the quarterback uh, and then just never got a drive going in the fourth quarter. Had my opportunity, so hopefully I could turn it on early in this one and then not look back. Still 6-2 and two on the season, so not bad at all. I don't have much more cushion to lose a game. This is one I need. Notre Dame is going to be tested here defensively by this quarterback. Lee, I think they'll lose a close. And I like to add one. Thanks, guys. We're skipping that. Let's get to the game. Teams are lined up for the coin toss. Might be joined on a Discord call by Adam ATB9. We'll see. He he asked about coming on to talk some sports. I was trying to connect with them before this, but don't know where he's at right now. We'll see if it happens. Maybe we'll get him on another one if he needs to do some troubleshooting to get on a Discord call. We've done that in the past with the Monday nights. The first time they did uh, the lockdowns here in Chicago. So we kept it going with those virtual Monday nights played a lot of Super Nintendo and then also slapping it with Slapshot on Wednesdays always does a discord call and get some people in they'll take over at the 21 Boston College. I would say overall defensively as a middle linebacker as a user, I haven't made that great of an impact. He used to be very good at Madden in this game, using the middle linebacker to get some interceptions and even lead in tackles. But uh just hasn't happened for me. There we go. Number 50 brings him down at the 26. Maybe got two feet on the play. So if you're out there and watching, let me know. I haven't had anyone chat yet. The Fighting Irish use a four-man front here. Number two, back to pass. Oh. Number 20 with the interception. And he can't get up because this is college football. Once the knees are down, you are down. And was able to grab it. Nice concentration, huh, Kurt? No, Coach, you know, teams all the way from junior high practices tip drill for that exact situation. How uh, YouTube's doing the alerts, but based off... The last video and the things I was talking about, they're probably like, you know what? First and ten, ball on the <laughs> Don't send out this guy's alerts nine. anymore. Cut. 
Good blocking. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds. Rusen, that's a big 16-yard gain to start off. You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. Loving it. What's up, Adam? Because now you gotta worry about the run and the pass on defense. Boston College lines up defensively in a 4-3. Did you change your name back from ATB9? A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Eagle. All right. We're going to try the toss. What the? Number 19 brings him down for a so they, it looks like they brought a corner blitz. And let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. That hurts. Defense was all over it. Third down and 12 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. All right. We'll see if we can get you on here. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Number seven back to throw. Looks going deep. Ooh, pass interference. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. Hunter, I did look for it this time. I I couldn't find it. I looked in my notifications on Twitter. And I looked on my messages. Couldn't see it. Just I would recommend just sending me the it in my messages on Twitter. Big field goal. And it's good. All right, let's see if we can get Adam in here. Call him on Discord. See how it, that goes. Having trouble with the app. Let's see if we can get him in here. Adam, you there? Yes. You there? I can. You can barely hear me? Well, I'm on the ready to kick it away. I'm on the stream right now. Yes, sir. I started it up. Um Hold on a second here. I'm going to see if let me know if you could hear Adam. He's on a Discord call right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's good to see you live, man. I love how you play these old games. I appreciate it. All right, go ahead. Talk. So, brings him down at the 35. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. It was a lot Why do I like Showtime more than NBA hang time? Uh, well, the thing is, I feel like it's the balance, the most balanced uh, game out of the series. Uh, the game speeds faster. Boston College. Hang time is very defensive oriented. Uh, where Showtime is more offense. The other thing is because of the five foul thing in Showtime, it kind of puts the pushing in check, which is the most powerful thing in NBA Jam and NBA Hang Time. Brings him down at the 42 yard line. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense. Yeah, I mean, I love hang time too. I played a ton of that one. Uh, it's just. Showtime hit the sweet spot for me. You know, it had the NBA on NBC logo. 
I mean, uh, the music and everything. Uh, it had more players. And fields it at the 26, and not much there on the return. Dennis Rodman is on one of the arcade versions on the Mavericks. Yeah, it's one of the gold editions. They'll start this drive at the 26 yard line. The Eagles come out in a 4 3. Number 7 gives up the Oh, yeah, hang time on the 26 yard line. 64 is awesome. I'm going to respond to the chat here. Hunter, um, you don't see the message thing on Twitter? I don't know. I'm not a Twitter aficionado. So I can't give you too much direction besides for just message it to me. Second and ten, ball on their own How's it going, George Jr.? Yeah, I'm not sure if they could hear you or not, Adam, because it doesn't... It's not showing me... Can you, can you pull up the stream on your phone and see if you could hear yourself talking? And put him to the turf. Third and 11 coming up. Yes. Ball on the 25. Notre Dame lines up with a split backfield. Okay. Seven steps back to pass. And it's caught. Number 19 with a takedown at the 31. Fourth down, coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. You know, I agree with you. I like that 2,000 version on the three-cast. You know, just like they had a lot of good sports games. Fourth and five coming up here. Ball on the 31 yard line. Yeah, no, I. It it does and suck that they the don't come the out with, uh, with the arcade score. games Notre that have the, you know, well, NFL or NBA the license. Sides, and and the they just the the only type of games you could get like that. Besides for like your here and there NBA playgrounds is uh, indie games. Fourth down and five. Ball on their own 31. I understand like why EA don't want to like. Want to try to make a new NBA Jam after seeing something like that? You know, I mean, I just stuff like that. I just don't understand about. All right, check on the stream and see if you could hear yourself now. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, I can. You can? Okay, good. Yeah. All right, then I'll leave you on here. And yeah, just keep keep going with the questions. Yeah, see, I mean, it's just like you said. I mean, I agree with EMEA Playground, but like, I just, like I said, I just don't understand why EA just don't want to make a new EMEA Jam game. And it's just, that stuff like that, it just kills me. I just hate that. Well, they probably don't want to make a new NBA Jam game because it's not going to make them the most money. I think that's kind of how EA does it these days. Well, they're not doing good, and EA Sports ain't doing good with basketball, period, because look at NBA Live. Yeah, it's like comes out every other year. They're not sure what they want to do with it. And the thing is, man, like, I love EA Sports. I don't get me wrong. I mean, I like the street series, like NBA Street, NFL Street, and hopefully one day they bring that back. And I think, to me, it's my opinion, like, I think What's they know college first? football. I think they know college football is better than Madden, and they don't want to accept that. They don't want to accept it? No, I mean, all these years, I mean, to me, I grew up in a college town. You know, of course, I'm a Donhart, Tennessee Vols fan. Okay. And I've been I'm always playing college football games. I mean, don't get me wrong, like Madden 04 is good, and, you know, and Madden 05 is good, but, like, if you look at the other college football games, they're way better. And that's just my opinion. I, I mean, I understand that's my opinion, but I just feel like EA knew that college football was overshadowed Madden. I mean, look at 2K. I mean, look what happened to 2K. They was beating Madden. And look what happened to them. Oh, yeah. Well, 
these games are very similar in this era with NCAA football and uh, Madden, but I, I felt like, too, the, the NCAA games, even in this era, were a little bit better than Madden. Maybe not with all the, the music and, and features, but just the gameplay. The Eagles. Line up at a three right Number and see in like oh I, I like madden i like madden like i like madden 05 04 and i can sit there playing them games all day but to me i like espn 2k <laughs> i like that more i got a question from the chat do i wear a mask to work no i haven't put on a mask at all i don't <laughs> i uh i work from home so i don't i'm not challenged to but i wouldn't be Three wideouts here. Number two on the option. But oh, no, nah, to be pitch. But to be honest with you guys, man, like I do support your channel. I like your channel. Um hands down, I mean, I'm glad how you bring back old sports games. Hopefully we can bring back like NFL Blitz one day, NFL Street, stuff like that. But all I had to do is keep dreaming. <laughs> yeah, I mean the unfortunate thing for us right now is it's just whatever us as individuals are playing um you know all the momentum we had with the live tournaments streaming for some other tournaments throughout the the country it's just all the momentum is squashed you know because of yeah that's why i don't care about talking about politics anymore because i'm pissed yeah i mean i see where you're coming from i mean to me i just I don't like talking about it so much. Uh, to be honestly, I feel like Trump got ripped, you know, and that's just my opinion. And I think there's something else that's going on behind the scenes. I think they want us to follow a new rule. For and sure. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, it's uh... like our freedom got taken away. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's because of public health or not. That's just the fact of the matter. And I just I've feel bad for air, yes. people who have kids. Do what, what? Go ahead. I say I feel bad for the people who have kids have to deal with this. I mean, they shutting down everything, like school. We can't go to NFL games. We can't do nothing so much anymore. And everybody says it's going to get better. But to me, I don't know. Like, I feel like we're going to go through a couple more years with this. Well, yeah, because the people aren't standing up to it that don't like it. That's the problem. Takes a timeout. That was their second timeout. And that's the thing, man. Everything where you're coming from, I see everything you say, I see where you're coming from. But I just, it's just, it doesn't matter. Like, your vote don't matter at all. Hunter Iggy says, have you heard that the NBA removed the national anthem? <laughs> no. Notre Dame. <laughs> I did not hear that. Is that true? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, really. But I want to, like... You know, I want to shout out to, you know, Infinite Smoke, all the people in the chat. You know, I got mad respect for these people. Um, you know, I like watching Troy in his tournaments. You know, I learned a lot from him, especially Techno Bowl and, uh, you know, hockey games. Uh, I like, and definitely I miss watching a D, uh, DPS and Marty on Monday nights. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the first and then, and then uh, <laughs> Loma Jack Crack. Every now I see him, man. You just don't know when he's gonna be alive. It could be like three o'clock in the morning. He's playing some wrestling game. I love that. <laughs> yeah, my brother's pretty random with that. He gets on a good streak of going on a stream, and then then he just falls off completely. <laughs> But if I, like, to me, in my past, if I say something on a chat that you feel like disrespect to you and your crew, I do apologize. Oh, no, we don't we don't get disrespected by anything. Because I know it's in the past I had some, said some crazy stuff back then, but I was probably drinking at the time. <laughs> Have you ever seen Deontay Jenkins in the chat? Yeah, and see, I don't know him like you guys know him. Yeah, we're not gonna and, um, we're not gonna work. YouTube filters it out now. Like when we first started streaming, YouTube didn't even set. filter anything out. Right. Oh, the goal line stand. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and see, uh, 
I ain't gonna lie, like he does say some funny stuff on the chat. Like I give him mad respect for that. But uh, <laughs> some of the people in the chat, some of the people in the chat, like I don't know, like you guys know them personal because I never seen you guys face to face. Right. And like the other day, somebody was talking bad about NFL Blitz, and I ain't gonna go for that. You know, I want to stand up for that. You know, and and I'm thinking in my head like. That could be somebody's cousin on the chat, and I don't want to come out rude, but if they disrespect NFL Blitz, hey, just, I want to stand up for it. Just go at them, as long as you're respectful. <laughs> uh, Hunter, but, you... so, hold on, I'm going to read the chat real quick. I'm not a Pittsburgh fan, no. Uh, could you check the Live King video link? I don't know. The links, see, the links get filtered out of the YouTube comments, too. Like, I don't even see those sometimes. I don't play with updated rosters, but, yeah, there's a lot of communities that update rosters for these old games. I don't think this is one of them. Oh, come on. Now, uh, I'm trying to, like I told you guys in the past, because I'm definitely trying to get me a new computer. And I'm going to start my YouTube channel. And hopefully sometime soon, you know, I'm going to try to get some live videos down down south. Oh, it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, whenever you're ready to go, we can give you some tips. Yeah, because I'm going to try it for a couple of years, see how it goes. So then I'm going to try to invite you guys down there. I mean, you guys are more welcome to come anytime. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I learned a lot from you guys, especially watching YouTube. Like, like definitely Troy watching his techno bow or hockey games. Um, and definitely watching DPS and Marty on Monday nights. And I'll definitely, I'm glad that, you know, Sean's doing that Wednesday hockey games. Yeah, for so, sure. That. That helps out. Sean stepped up to the plate, and he's he's playing his league online game, so get people interested in those. I don't play in any of them, but a lot of the guys I know do. And uh, look, we got a comment from Bradford. He says, "I agree. Honestly, I don't care who you are. Don't res don't respect NFL Blitz, one of the most fun football games ever made." Yeah, I mean, hands down. I mean, I love playing that game. It's like a quick game. And you can't go wrong with that. Like, I learned from you that I never heard of Kurt Warner Arena Football until you told me that one day. Then I looked it up. It's just like NFL Blitz. Yep. And so, um. Halftime. <laughs> but, man, but to be honestly, yeah, um. Man, to be honestly, man, I, when I think about what's all going on, about the world, whatever. I just hopefully everything get back soon. But I know it's my opinion, but I just don't think it will be back soon. I just think we well, got to wait a couple more years to be back soon. Well, I agree with you, but we, we just have to take it back, you know. Like, I can, I have a place that we could go to Monday nights, another bar. Like, Demon Tap is not open because they're listening to the lockdown stuff. And there's other places in Chicago that aren't. Um... We can also get a you know live tournament going to the line at the same place. Um, I think the crew in Chicago would come to it, but it's just like the the people outside um, of the area. Who knows if they would be interested in coming or not? Somebody like me or Infinite Smoke or something like that, right? Yeah, or mainly guys that I'm talking about that have been to our tournaments before. Okay. I'm just pounding yeah, the rock. Uh, yeah, because I noticed you guys have a lot of uh, tournaments up there in Wisconsin. And I know that's the only place that's open for now because the whole COVID-19 right now. Yeah, they're. I gotta go for this. Pull back, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, I eight whatever his name is says. Do you think you ever they will ever re-release? My full back. There you go. NCAA for PS5, Xbox, etc. I mean, to be honestly, in my opinion, no. 
because the it's taken forever and i think because the court situation is taking forever and certain schools is okay with that but not all yes. schools are not okay with finally my <laughs> best receiver came through with the magical play catches the ball breaks a tackle runs in the end zone no one's going to catch him i mean don't get me wrong i would love to see like ECA football come back. I mean, I've been waiting on that like past like 10 years from now. <laughs> so I've been waiting. I want I want to see a new college football game. I want to see a new college basketball game. You know, and I just I want to hopefully we see one day we see like NFL Blitz or NFL Street stuff like that. But all we had to do is keep the all we had to do is keep hopefully keep praying for it. <laughs> yeah, everything's just getting more and more controlled and it's crazy that these things can't even come out at all I mean it's bad enough that some of these leagues only have one game that comes out every year now compared to like this era but now you can't even have college football games it's because they got too realistic you know when the, yeah. the, when they were just little 8-bit guys or 16-bit guys it was like well it just says their number you know like it's hard to tell, but then when they start getting hyper realistic, it's like, hey, you're gonna pay us for being in this game? Yeah, oh, you still at that. I mean, like them, like the ECA football games on the PS2, especially the Madden days on the PS2. You can't go wrong with that. But I see where you're coming from. I mean, they're trying to make it more realistic, and then it just kills me because, like, they would have to pay me to be in a video game, and I just, I just hate that more than anything. And somebody who's want to like, I kind of see his point of view in a way, but at the same time, it just messed it up for everybody because everybody, everybody I know in my lifetime was looking for the new college football game every year. Yeah, the thing is, certain guys get taken advantage of big time in that you know I, I've heard like Jalen Rose and Chris Webber talk about it you know because they're part of the Fab Five yeah and like you know they would make bank on their jerseys and stuff and they weren't getting paid for it but then there's like you know the most of the league where the, like no one really even cares that much about the people on the team that they don't necessarily need to get paid or they don't care if they're getting paid for it they would just like to be part of the game but yeah. it's just those mega stars in college that uh they're trying to make it fair for them yeah and see and that's the thing man like like some of them big time uh, like chris weber some of these guys i mean you know for sure they got it made back then and to these days, some of these college players probably get paid underneath the table. But my thing is, is like, that's all we want. We just want that college football game. And they keep giving us these new Maddens. And they've been terrible. Like, they've been terrible for the past 10 years. Like, I can't yeah. think any good Madden game on a PS3. What's up, James Bond? Yeah, they just, uh, it's because they just keep updating the, the same code, you know, and try to make it a little bit better. Nick says just pay them above the table. I think <laughs> something like that's been approved, but I don't really follow it. So, oh, man, these guys are breaking tackles like crazy. Should have been stopped there. But, like, to be honestly, like, when you talk about Madden, it's like ESPN and 2K proved the world that, like, you're not the best football game. And then, like other like football games, like NFL Blitz, like look at Game Day '98. I mean, don't get me wrong, like Madden 04 is good, like I said, Madden 05 is good, but like to me, I feel like they that's how the system is. And they try to make Madden is like the best, greatest football game ever. Like, we can't play any other football game, we had to play Madden. Yeah, like, we're it's just, forced, it's a monopoly. It's second down and two to go, ball on the 20. James Bond. And see, and that's, and that's the thing. That's just that's what that's what kills me. It's just like I know for a fact they if they made a new college football game or new NFL blitz or new NFL street, it would definitely beat Madden off the park. Yeah, I mean, 
Those times, though, with the with the developers that made those games, they've come and gone. So it would take some very passionate new game developers to recapture that success. Come on, you couldn't even stop the quarterback after we blew up the play. Well, I, hopefully, to be honest, hopefully one day, you know, like you guys have like a tournament. In Chicago, it, you tell us like ahead of time, like say like May 30th <laughs> next year, you know, and we come up and see you guys. I mean, because I ain't going to lie, like I like to see, you know, DPS and Green Magic and all them guys. I like to play you guys against NBA Jam and NFL Blitz and stuff like that. Well, we'll get some stuff going. It's just a matter of when the time is right to strike. So let me read the chat real quick. Getting ready to pick up a PS3 Fat and PS2 Slim with 16 game each for a hundred dollars. That's awesome. Good deal. What's up, Antonio? What's up, Harry? They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. And see, you know, but yeah, to be honest, man, like I've been lately. I've been playing ESPN 2K. Uh, 2K5? Yeah, on PS2. Oh, pick that off. What are you guys doing? I've been playing that, and I've been playing Madden 02 with uh, Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Okay. Yeah. And that's the, that's, I like to see you have a season on that. In which game? Madden, Madden 02? 02. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, uh, we're with Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Oh, okay, yeah, they got those two guys. Number two drops the throw. There we go. That was a long drive, but looks like we're stopping to a field goal finally. Now, NHL 94, is that your favorite hockey game? Not mine, no. I like Wayne Gretzky 3D hockey the best on 64. My thing with hockey games is I'm not good. I'm not good at simulation hockey games. Like, I'm just not. And I know NHL 94 is more arcadey, but right. I, I love the arcade hockey games, and I'm good at them. We should have a return on this one. But yeah, and in, go ahead. they don't really come out anymore. No, they don't. And see, uh, NHL 94, I do like that game. I really do. But the, to me, the downer is there's no fighting on that game. Yeah, um, that's true. But Wayne Gracely, Wayne Gracely, yeah, I like that. I like NHL hits 02. I like that game. Um, but just stuff like that. They, they just they make so much good games back then, and nowadays it's just it's just terrible. Like they made that new hockey game, you know, and uh, they're like, hey, we're gonna make a, a remaster of NHL '94, but there's no online play, you know. I know they they always do that. It's like they almost made something awesome, and they're like, "Oh no, no online." Yeah, it's like I'm gonna start off good, and it's always a guarantee messed up, you know. <laughs> yep, James Bond, you make a good point. Like, why are people so hyped about something where the graphics are so good on these older PS3 360 systems, and they could just get a huge collection? It will be worth more money someday. And just tons of games to play, but yet they're sweating it out for PS5. And see, you know, but I did yeah, not man, heard that, to Hunter. I did not hear that. Go ahead. Um, No, I just, to me, I grew, I grew up in a college town, and I always like NCAA football games more than Madden and uh it's just it's just sad and I just hate it how there ain't no more college football game because I was growing up a lot of my friends everybody I went to school with we always look forward to that come out every year we always had these tournaments and I ain't gonna lie like I mean I just want to say rest in peace those PS1 and PS2 controllers <laughs> yeah <laughs> used a lot of them 
Oh yeah, oh, definitely. When somebody lose, they get mad. Oh, I get, took, a bit, <laughs> took a bad sack right now. Let me read some of the chat. Best games of all time in the past, just like music, movies. 20 years, you look back, hindsight, find this to be the truth. Yeah, I agree, especially in sports. Marketing, yeah, brainwashed by marketing. I know, it's like... The, the thing that sold me on PS4 was the features, not really the the graphics or enhanced game. Oh, no. This, is, this game's taking a turn. I think I might have lost Adam. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in the game, and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. Come on, how's he catching that? Number 42 with a takedown. I don't want to see a replay. Worth another look. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry up offense. Double coverage. Number two, back to pass. Looking, he throws it. Wow. Horrible defense by my defender. All right, we got my work cut out. But um, but, uh, but no, I mean, there's anything you want to ask me, like, but like my favorite football game or anything. Well, I know you like hang time. What what is your favorite football game? Oh man, you probably think I'm crazy. Uh, I probably had to go to NFL Street too. Oh, yeah, you're always telling me to play that game. I just never, yeah, those games are fun. I just never got into them. Uh, I guess, I don't know. There's a lot of factors, just the time period it came out. Uh, I, I always felt like those were more offensive games than defensive, and I like a good balance. But why do you like the second one instead of the uh, first one? On the second one, you can you know you definitely had Game Breaker too, and you can run up on the walls. And I love it how you could play like in the back alley, stuff like that. You know, instead of on the football field, you're playing the back alley or play, playing down the street, stuff like that. I like seeing NFL games like that. And seeing like burn it, bas like basketball, quick slant, baby. I like I, I like NBA Street Volume Two. Time to play defense. Yeah, NBA Street Volume Two is great. Most people like that better than the first one, but yeah, and I understand why. It's got more, you know, uh, NBA legends and different things included in it. But the first one was, I think they knocked it out of the park, and it was uh. The thing I like about it is you could just play basketball without the tricks if you want to and still win. Whereas later, the game's like, if you weren't doing the tricks part of it, uh -huh. then you're not going to win the game. I see where you're coming from. I've had people beat me because we played that game a lot, like one-on-one -on -one versus each other. Like, not just versus the computer. Yeah. And people would win just by shooting threes and not even doing the game breakers and stuff. So, <laughs> it's like, I like that balance of it. But then later on, it's like, if you're not doing all these tricks to do these game breakers and, and making the game breaker. Um, no. My team's just not doing it on defense. Oh, except. See, the thing on, the thing I like about EMEA Street, the first one, I love it how Michael Jordan talks smack the whole game. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Love that. And I like the announcer on the first one more than on the second one. Yeah, I Hunter, I don't know about uh the fighting Irish. Kirby Morrow. I didn't even know that happened, so I I'd have to look into it. But uh my question is because like I know you guys play a lot a lot of techno bowl. Yes. Like how come I know I asked you before, but like, I think it, to me, I think it makes it more interesting if you guys do like an update roster or techno bowl because it's like 2020. Like we all know both Dennis and Barry Sanders and Jerry Ross and stuff like that. I think it'd be more, more competitive to me. 
Well, the thing is, there's there's just two main reasons in my mind. One is whoever made the ratings for the the modern guys, right? Like if we agree with them or not. That fourth down, we got the ball back. Yes. Uh, so that's one thing. The other thing is we play on council. We're like we're very much about doing it on its native hardware yeah even if it's a, a reproduction uh system we want to play on the actual hardware because so that would it would be costly to get uh one of these carts that puts in a sd card to put those games on there like they have a bunch of them to run a tournament and the other main reason is we, like, we, when we're playing, a lot of us have the ratings of the players in our head. And we're calculating that as we play. I see where you're coming from now because you guys have been playing Tenno Ball for, like, all these years. And, and, yeah. um, and since we, um, and since the ratings matter so much in Tecmo Super Bowl, like, more than any other game I've played, I think that's why it's one of the the best ever. Uh, because like if Marino has that pass speed, like you see it, it, it's like exaggerated. But that's what makes the game so great. See, I agree with that, especially when you play with Bo Jackson or Barry Sanders. Yeah. So. And, um, if we played it uh, with the modern rosters, we wouldn't know any players' ratings. And, you know, we might not agree with the ratings that were given. And so that's why we always go back to the, the original. Let's see, if they can get it in for the see the I see what you're saying. I was, I, was wrong. I was wrong because I thought it would be a lot cooler because it was 2020. And after you described that to me, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, so that's why we don't really switch it up. You know, it's twenty dollars or less for a Tecmo Super Bowl cartridge for tournaments. Other way around, you'd either have to do it on laptops, which we don't like playing like that, or you'd have to spend, you know, like a hundred bucks or more per cart just to make a twenty twenty Tecmo Super Bowl tournament work. Man, well, you think about like. On a switch, they had Techno Bowl on there on a switch, and you think yes. like Techno just paid NFL had them update the roster to be a lot easier. Yeah, it's just you know it's still that exclusive license for EA. They're never gonna do that. Let me get to some of these comments in the chat. Um, James Bonds is getting all the hookups. He's meeting, he's meeting guys forty bucks. Right by Wrigley <laughs> Field. You're from Chicago, James Bond. I didn't know that. Or maybe I did and I forgot. Which happens sometimes. Dumisa says, I'm conflicted now because I'm from Boston. Notre Dame football fan. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, Notre Dame looks like they're taking this one. It was looking iffy, but I got the 11-point lead now, so they're going to need a miracle. Little screen. All right, see you later, James Bond. So, do you have any arcades or beer cades by you? Hey, yes, I do. I go I go a place called Barley, the bar. And that's the place I'm thinking about going to to start my stream. Okay. So, what's your favorite arcade sports game? <laughs> Mortal Kombat, I was playing. Uh, I probably had to go EMA Jam and NFL Blitz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cause those, are those are popular games, you know. Um, and plus, the, it's not a long game when you play those games. It's like five minutes, you know. Yeah, I, so I see what you're saying. That's what I like about the arcade sports games too. Like you can get through them quick, you know. It's like twelve. 15 minutes you just had a great exciting experience and you're on to the next one already yeah and see in those games people know those games more and plus when i live in a college town you can't go wrong where i'm at the offense stays on 
So, Antonio's asking, have you heard about Clay Thompson? No, I have not. What happened with him? He probably got traded to Boston yeah. Celtics. Now nah, he probably got traded to the Bulls. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> I mean, dude, I ain't gonna lie. The Bulls, after Jordan left, y'all been terrible. And then D. Rose came, and he was, like, good for y'all for, like, two or three years. And then, yeah, yeah and that, that's Pretty what much. happened. They had, they had a couple decent teams with Heinrich, Ben Gordon, and Lou Dang. But... Other than that, yeah, you're pretty much right on. Hey, oh. see, you're from you're from Chicago. Like, what what is your favorite baseball team? I like the White Sox. But now, I, why why do you like the White Sox more than the Cubs? Because where I grew up in Berwyn, it's like 20 minutes away from the White Sox stadium, and my dad would get tickets all the time from his company and. When I, you know, could drive, then me and my friends would just drive there and go to games. And they were, the tickets were cheap compared to Wrigley Field. You know, they had their own parking lot. It was a modern stadium compared to Wrigley, which is, you know, was falling apart at the time. So there was a lot of reasons why. And then the Sox were awesome in the 90s. With Frank Thomas, Robin Ventura. Tim Raines, a Blackjack McDowell. They had some good team. Like, they had a really good team in the 90s. See, they made, like, the White Sox, like, in the baseball movies back in the day, like, in the 90s and 80s, they always make the White Sox, like, a bad team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, throughout their history, they've been bad for, for a good portion of it, but not in the 90s. They were good. A lot of people say, like, the, the year they went on strike, like, they had the best team in baseball. Yeah, I, I got mad respect for White Sox. I mean, I like watching Frank Thomas, um, you know, guys like that. But i always been a Braves fan, because I guess because I live down south. Yes, the Ireland Trophy. We got it. Put it in a trophy case. So how are things over there with all these these COVID restrictions? Are people wearing masks and stuff? Like, can you, or do you have to fight? Yeah. Well, I work at the hospital and I wear it all the time. Oh it's, yeah. It does, yeah, it definitely get nerve wracking. Um, but yeah, like we'll go to grocery store, like you say, we gotta wear it. And there's always that person in the corner. If you don't wear it that one day, they're going to yell at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm so always bad. a guarantee of that. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I I was born and raised. I grew up in Knoxville all my life and I always been a dying heart Tennessee fan. And, and it's just our football team been terrible like past 10 years. But it's one of the things I'm going to keep rooting, rooting for them no matter what. And baseball, I like the Braves basketball i used to like hardaway and Shaq, but my favorite player growing up was sean kemp oh yeah i used to love sean kemp too that was the first jersey i ever had with sean kemp oh it was mm -hmm. i think yeah. that was Did the first the... team i i really liked besides you know the built-in bowls was the supersonics oh man like it was hard beat the bulls back in the day I mean, definitely jordan and pippen and robin and um but my thing is like yeah i like the magics growing up i like sean kemp but uh i had his starting jacket back in the day <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like the, the same for me i had the supersonic starter jacket and the sean kemp jersey and i said that's that takes a lot of balls definitely where you come from because you live in chicago yeah i was oblivious though you know because i was a kid yeah. i was like i like the supersonics like get me that jacket yeah, <laughs> yeah, and but yeah, I had the starter jackets. I had that one. I had the uh, Braves one, and I had a Tennessee one. But um, growing up, I mean NFL. I like Miami Dolphins, but they didn't have a quarterback since Dan Marino left. <laughs> so oh yeah, the Dolphins. But I, I, Dolphins but I started well. liking the Titans in a way. Tennessee Titans. Yeah. 
I guess because I live in Tennessee now. Yeah. Well, they moved there like when you like when you were born there. They they had no football team, and then they moved in, right? Yeah, yeah. I was born. Yeah, I was born at '89, and there was no football team until the late '90s, and then they moved. They moved to Tennessee. And then ever since then, I mean, I like the Titans, but I felt like if I left the Dolphins and they do good and I can't go back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I know, always bounce around. I'm just a fan of sports, so I never, like, I don't have a full dedicate. Like, my heart's not with any team, if that makes sense. Right. Like, there's certain teams I like better than others. But, right. You know, it's it switches for me. See, that surprised me because somebody like you from Chicago, I thought you'd be like a definitely Don Hart, like Chicago Bulls fan and the Bears fan because Jordan and all them guys. I can see why in a way you don't like the Bears because Jay Cutler. <laughs> yeah, the Bears management has, and ownership will really tick you off. I mean, that's, that's probably the first one that, like, I just stopped being – a fan of because of their management and ownership it's just like their decision making is just awful to me it's like why am i going to root for this team like the packers been beating them up for 20 years they still yeah. can't get it together like it's it's just embarrassing <laughs> they, <laughs> they were good with erlacher and lovey smith that was probably my favorite time watching the bears um but other than that it's I just fell off. You know, they, they signed Cutler to that extended contract after, you know, all the good defensive players were gone. And it's like, why why are you going to put us through more Jay Cutler? Like, just start over now. Yeah. You didn't win the Super Bowl with getting Cutler. You made it to the NFC Championship, and that's about as far as we got. So don't don't give us another three years of him. Like, those – that that's what really that that made me not even like the team, you know. Yeah, you're like, man, like it seems like they don't care about the fans that they constantly making poor decisions. Like when Dante Culpepper went to the Dolphins, I'm like, yes, I got all happy. Then he did terrible, and I'm thinking, well, I can see why because he don't have Randy Moss, you know. So <laughs> yeah, you know, Dolphin <laughs> Dolphins are one of those teams like the Bears, where it's like. They'll ruin a quarterback. <laughs> you know, Cutler actually did all right. I don't think they ruined him. Like, he's he, statistically, he's, like, one of the best Bears quarterbacks ever. But he didn't uh -huh. flourish. He was just, like, an average QB on the Bears. But most Bears QBs are, like, bottom 10 all the time. But the Miami's, like, one of those teams. Where, but Culpepper, yeah, you didn't know how good he was with a guy like Randy Moss. Just He just... Randy Moss could outrun people. He could outjump people. You just, and when you had that, other guys would be open. And see, what kills me is, like, to me, in my opinion, I think Randy Moss is the best wide receiver ever. You know, I've been arguing with older heads because they think Jerry Ross is. And, you know, but to me, like, if Moss had a better quarterback and he's, he's starting off, he'll put up records like Jerry Ross did. Jerry Ross had, like, Joe Montana – Steve Young, Richard Cannon, guys like that, back to back. You see what I mean? I mean, I, yeah, talent wise, you, you might be right about that, but the consistency and what Jerry Rice was able to do, bro. like his, he's the one guy. Like if you look at his stats, like no one's even close to him. Like you could argue QBs, you could argue running backs, but like wide receivers, it's like no one's even close to Jerry. What Jerry Rice did. And he was, to me, Jerry Rice was tougher than Moss. Like, Moss, like, towards the end of his career, when he wasn't as fast and athletic, like, he would kind of shy away from catching some balls, like alligator arm it. Yeah. So, but I loved Randy Moss, too. I had his white jersey. I had his purple jersey. You know, in all the games I would use Randy Moss. Like, he was awesome to watch. Yeah, I, he was like my favorite player growing up, you know. Um, 
And my thing is with Randy Moss is like Jerry Ross didn't mean it that he did cheated back in the day. Um, but that's the thing, like you hear these players like ten years or five five years from now, they finally admit they cheated. You see what I mean? What do you and mean you so, said <laughs> you said he cheated? Like I read it online that like he was using these gloves, like these sticky gloves to help him catch the ball more. Oh yeah, I feel like they've been doing that for a long time though. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, I see what you're saying. But, yeah, like... If, if you he, wanted yeah. it... So here's a good example of what happens. When I first started playing 16-inch no-glove softball in Chicago, uh, <laughs> I was... I was set, well, well, it's not when I was... But when I started playing in the leagues, I was 17, and uh, we were using our football gloves. Like, I was playing first base using the football gloves because... They absorbed the impact, and they were easy to catch, like, with the stickiness. But yeah. the umpires and the the guys running the league said, we can't use them. You have to go barehanded. That's just the way you do it. So the reason we used it is because it was so much easier to catch the ball and absorb the impact. Like, it was like a no-brainer for us. And it's the same thing with football. It's like once you got these gloves that are, you know, super sticky or just make it so much easier to catch the ball it's uh it changes the game completely you know so it's really hard to tell yeah. like who has the actual best hands the last yeah, guy I remember that used to go barehanded was Wayne Krebet on the Jets oh dude that's a throwback yeah <laughs> I don't know if anyone does it anymore. That's a definitely throwback. That's like, he was that white wide receiver, right? Greg says, uh, Chicago should take the Tecmo Challenge score on D or special teams only. Yeah, well, they've been doing, when they've been at their best, that's how they usually do it. So, with that game, I beat um, Boston College. I got the Ireland Trophy, and I'm back, ranked number 23. At seven and two, and see, and that's that's the thing. I thought you lost the trophy because of Florida State. Oh no! Well, they just have like these rivalry trophies, which I think is pretty right. cool. Um, and the one versus Florida State that was just a ranked game. They don't. I don't think they have a rivalry that would have a trophy involved or anything like that. Maryland is 9 and 0. Oh, wow. But have you played ECA 06 or no? Yeah, I've played it. I have the game somewhere. I was going to play it, but I have a bin of games and maybe it's in that closet back there. Right. You missed it, Greg. The Irish National Championship. Got to go back. It was a good game. It came down in the fourth quarter. I was down, but uh made it happen. So, yeah, um, Adam, I think that's going to do it for now, but it was great talking to you. I'll have you on a, another stream in the future for sure. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. You went out your way and talked to me, but I just want to tell your crew, like DPS and all them, I got mad respect for these guys and everybody in the chat, and hopefully I get my YouTube channel starting up, and hopefully, guys, I'll see you soon. Cool. Thanks. Uh, I wish you the best. When whenever you want to start it up, we'll help you out with uh, you know the, the the technical stuff and and what equipment to get. So just let us know. I think I probably told you in the past, but it's been a while. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we see DPS and Marty back in the Monday nights. Yeah, that's really up to... I know they want to go back to Demon Tap, but it's just a matter of if they're going to open back up. They're, I they think they're only, like, open outside on the weekends or something like that, but I don't know. So you either got to disobey, or if you obey, you're not open. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the well, way it goes. It's good to talk to you guys. I'm out here. All right. We'll see you later. See you. Uh, Antonio, none of my friends got the ps5 that i know of when i there's two friends i know that want it once they get it i know they'll tell me about it 
and uh, I'll give you their feedback. But no, I don't know anyone who's got the PS5. But that's going to do it. That was a good game. Got my rank back after beating Boston College. Redeemed myself after a big loss to Florida State. We had Adam on. You'll see him in the chat as either Adam or ATB9. He's from Tennessee. He's been following the channel a long time. And he's got a good passion for all these sports games. <laughs> Taped together a PS2 and PS3. Boom, PS5. That's what uh, James Bond was saying earlier. He's like, I got all these games for 360 and PS3 for like 100 bucks, And uh, people are out there waiting for PS5s. Like, what are they doing? But yeah, so that's going to do it for, for now. Uh, I'll probably be back on a stream soon. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. You never know. Thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you later.